Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Zemo, the Dad and DPS, and we're back once again with another episode of The Good, The Scrap and the Scrap, a series where I find and review weapons in Appalachia and see if they do anything, really. Um, today's weapon is no different. Now, before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's time to go Tuesday. Yes, I know it's Sunday. Just, just, you know, accept it. So, Taco Tuesday. Well, if you're wondering why, it's bloody and it's explosive. It's also got 15% faster reload speed, so you notice that as well. This is a 10mm pistol, and I love these guns. I think they're very, very versatile, very good at what they do. Don't get me wrong, like most weapons, they are not super quick boss killers, but I definitely think this weapon packs some punch and is worth using. And I'm going to show you that today. So, let's get on with the video. So, this weapon, well, let's look at it several different ways. The 10mm pistols are a really versatile weapon, really easy to use. Typically, by the time you get to the end point of the game, you have a lot of mods for it. They're just a very stable and sturdy weapon. They can be used in different methods, you can use them stealth, and they can be relatively effective, and you can use them out of stealth. And again, still relatively effective. The clip size isn't too bad either. They reload really quickly outside of the, the normal fact. And you're seeing here that I'm killing the ghouls fairly easily. But it's ghouls. Ghouls are typically um, dog crap enemies that die really quickly. Uh, but at the same time, the ammo is super cheap. And most enemies are going to die to this relatively fast. And you'll see that with my bigger enemies where they're just not going to be able to outlast this weapon. Now, it's bloodied, which I know quite a lot of you will randomly complain about, even though, you know, I try and review most types of weapons on multiple different types of builds, um, when and if I can, and if it's convenient. Uh, and this weapon is just consistently good. Um, that's the thing about 10mm pistols, if you get a good one, you're going to be able to do some decent damage and some decent stuff. And this has got the, the kind of max damage output for this weapon in general. And because of the reload speed, I don't really need to worry about not being able to fire it in quick succession. Um, don't get me wrong, per bullet it isn't the top damage in the game. But most pistols tend not to be unless they are hand cannons. Um, and then you're seeing from here, the ammo you get back is pretty damn good on occasion, like 26 rounds from a single enemy is pretty damn... Well, it's probably not from a single enemy. Well, it's out there, though. Um, but yeah, you're getting a lot of ammo back. And that's a good thing to be going about with. So, quickly we'll go into the build. Now, I've obviously not used two of my strength perks. Literally the points are in there just so that I can just have more carry weight, I'm honest. Um, rest of the perks are all to optimize damage. We have Modern Renegade, Expert Gunslinger, and Gunslinger on here. Now, if you're wondering why I've got Gunslinger on an automatic weapon, that's because the tweaked receiver is bugged, and it scales with this. So that's why that's on there. And then on here, we've got, obviously, our things so that we can survive, do a little bit extra damage. I could swap this out for the likes of, for example, better criticals, or even uh, critical savvy, which... You know, I'm not fully certain which one works better. There's also Grim Reaper's Sprint in order to just keep using that. It just depends on what I'm using and what I'm doing. Grim Reaper's Sprint's less useful in my videos because of me fighting Jeff and the Queen. So you guys don't really get the full bang for your buck if I'm using Grim Reaper's Sprint. Either way, let's move on. Now, as usual, Jeff is a big stinky and he doesn't like his bath time being interrupted. But we will be interrupting his bath time. I mean, I don't know why he takes so many baths when he still stinks like absolute hog crap, but, you know, that's Jeff. So I'll wake him up, just to get in a better shot at him, because this is the problem with Jeff. He becomes invincible during that uh, animation. So that's basically two clips. Three clips. Three and a bit. He went down pretty quick. I'm happy with it. And now we come down with the severe case of crabs. Now you can see that this weapon 
quite consistently murderalizes crabs. Eh. But crabs also can murderalize me, so I need to be careful. The consistent thing is I need to wake up Mama Crab and then leg it. There we go. Run away! Because if she catches me, she will eat my brains. Um, yeah. Now we're hidden again. Which means I can give Mama Crab a taste of, well, bullets to the craw. Bang, 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 bang. One set of legs broke. Bang, 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 bang. Other set of legs broke. My alert king now apparently finding me and shooting me. This is the problem with pistol builds, I find. You don't do quite as much damage as you would with the other ones, but for some reason she can find me whenever I try and do this. And then my alert king likes just sneaking his ass up on me and murdering me when I've, my back's turned. So, I don't know what it is about pistol builds, I just don't seem to be able to sneak quite as well. And that could just be the weapons, it could be my build. I'm honestly not paying attention. My brain is literally so sleepy right now. Um, I'm filming this video rather late. But you're seeing how well this uh, this does in terms of the damage. I mean, I'm shooting the torso on that thing. But, and it's just still killing it pretty quickly. Marlock Queen is sitting in a puddle of her own urine, I assume. Um, and then we're just able to wail into her quite effectively. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm doing the best damage. Where's her legs? There we go. So you're seeing it's going to take a bunch of clip to take her down. This is not a weapon I would recommend you bring to fight the Mirelord Queen personally, but with the right perks you aren't going to be killed by her easily. Um, it's just the fact that I'm a bloody build and the Mirelord King can find me every time I go anywhere near her. Either way, relatively easy kill. Normally, weapon can't be bothered. Anywho. Let's move on. Right. Daily Ops time. I say Daily Ops time. We're just gonna show you how this kills thing in Daily Ops and then go, wow, I got my ammo back, therefore. Well done. I'm literally thumbs upping right now and I don't know why the camera's not on. Well, it is. You can probably see me. But you know. You can. And if you can, get out of my house. Now, as you saw, we killed that thing. Killed? Murdered that thing rather quickly. Murdered him rather quickly. We're getting eight back. We've got 666 ammo in, you know, the bank. That's not ominous. He's dead. 12 ammo. We now have 674. So we're getting our ammo back quite consistently. I said that's what I'd say. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a good weapon. It does what it needs to do. 10mm weapons are relatively fun. Um, the other being the Crusader pistol. And I, I just think they do really well. It's a good ammo type because it's very efficient. And you get back what you put in. On top of that, being able to be stealthed makes this type of daily op particularly easy. Um, other ones, maybe not so much. But... Overall, it murderizes just about everything. You can break the legs of big enemies that you don't really want to fight. Um, and you can brutally murder everything else. Even Jeff didn't really do well. But that's pretty much that, isn't it? Yeah, let me jump up. I'm going to kill this one last mole miner. Yay! So that was tonight's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe it really helps out the channel and keeps me going if you enjoyed the video that extra little bit you can also support the channel by clicking the youtube member button below or just glancing in the direction of the coffee link that's there now let's thank our youtube members the first two i'd like to thank are deofane gaming and goldie our two chosen undad members big thanks to you guys and then we have Wyatt Blackburn, Wallers Me, Colin G, Pigment Knight, Matazbo, Devilman Games, Marcus Garso, Scott S, Bubba Dolomom, and Ranger McSpriddle are Dad's Army members. Big thanks to all of you. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the content. Now, 
yeah, this weapon, I don't think you can go wrong with 10mm pistols. I really don't. They're very good. They do consistently decent damage, and they're one of the mainstays of a pistol build in general. And I think a lot of people just neglect to think they're any good. Um, but I, I definitely do. I think I think it's a weapon that tech quite typically is in my rotation on my pistol build quite heavily. So yeah, I love it. I hope you love it. And we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.